Well, good morning, or afternoon, or evening. This is Daniel Hamby. Another part of my how-to series here on my YouTube channel. Got something a little crazy I'm getting ready to do, but I'm going to try it. Okay, right here, you'll, you've got a... Let me swap cameras. All right. I bought this uh, brand new uh, Duracell battery right here. And by the way, this is a 1990 Yamaha. I've had it for a while. A couple of my buddies owned it. And I have had such a good time with this motorcycle. But anyway, this crazy battery, for some reason, has run down so dead it will not charge. All right, so here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to get a DeWalt 20 volt and I'm going to hook it up to this uh, little adapter here and I'm going to get my wires <clears throat> and I'm going to hook it to this battery and I'm going to see if it blows anything up or if it cranks it. So I may be operating this Yamaha in 1990 off of a 20 volt DeWalt battery because these batteries are so crazy high. And I only ride it a little bit at a time. I wouldn't recommend it for, you know, a long ride. And fortunately, and one thing I do know, it's not going to charge but up to 12 volts. So I'm not worried about that. I'm going to make an easy release where I can change the battery. Let's try it. All right. Now, I am using this. Uh, it is a high-powered DeWalt battery. But uh, it's one of their very expensive ones. But this one has a defect in it, and it only works for a little while. So I'm going to go ahead and try this battery. I've got it to this cool adapter here. All right, y'all ready for action? Let's try it. See if anything blows up. Huh, didn't hear anything yet. Let's see. Ooh, headlight. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Uh, I forgot, I got it. It's turning to start it though. Maybe the battery is too low. Oh, oh man, that wire is smoking hot. Okay, so here's what we realized. This white battery is about to melt. So apparently something is not quiet enough to really make it get what it needs to do. But you did hear it turning over. It would have cranked if I had had my gas on. It had to turn over too many times. So I'm going to let it cool off a minute. I'm going to try it again in a second. Okay, so what I had to do, I went ahead and beefed up the wire. I got a lot bigger wire now because uh, if you go to calculating amps and volts and all this other stuff and watts, blah, 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 I don't really know how to do that. So I like to test things till I see something start smoking. Then I know it don't work. So I'm going to try this thing again. Now I've got uh, my positive right here. I just got it twisted. I'll connect it better later. Let's see if it's going to crank. And I do have my gas on this time. Key. Yep. All right, let's try it. Uh-oh. I heard something go pssst. Uh-oh, hold on. Okay, apparently that cheesy battery I had apparently might have burned out. So I went and got a real small one, a DeWalt. Let's see what happens this time. Let's see. Test complete. Yes, a DeWalt battery, 20 volt, will crank a 1990 XT Yamaha. You just saw it firsthand. Okay, looks like I have wrapped up my little project. I've got my stupid battery here that costs so much money. I ran my wire neatly up the back. And now, look, a DeWalt battery doing this. Headlight. What do you think? What do you think? Well, that's the way I like to start my morning off. And remember, you can be happy. It's up to uh, you. 